Ringo Starr has responded to the terrible rumors that John Lennon did not contribute a vocal performance to the album Now and Then that was released by the Beatles. The reaction that Ringo Starr has offered to the rumors that John Lennon's original voice is not included on the new song Now and Then by the Beatles has been addressed. Ringo Starr has supplied his commentary on the matter. This month, Paul McCartney and Ringo Starr released the final song by the Beatles, which was titled Now and Then. The song was published earlier this month. All four of the band's founding members contributed to the song in some capacity. The song was finished with the assistance of artificial intelligence, which extracted the vocals of the songwriter from early recordings and made it possible for the remaining musicians to work with them through the process of reproducing the artist's voice in its totality. One of the songs was taken from a demo tape that was recorded by John Lennon, who passed away in the year 1980. In a previous statement, Starr acknowledged his love for the project and added that working on the tune was comparable to having John Lennon back in his life. He also stated that he was delighted to be a part of the project. Starr, on the other hand, used a recent interview with the American Association of Retired Persons to dispel some of the misunderstandings that have been floating around regarding the inspiration behind the song. Regardless of the nonsense that was being uttered by anyone, even the claims that it wasn't John but rather AI, he responded to it. It is not possible for Paul and I to behave in such a manner. Not only is this song an excellent way to finally close that door, but it also has a beautiful melody to accentuate its effect. A few of the opinions that the musician had previously expressed in regard to variety were articulated once again. According to what he said, this is not the result of artificial intelligence. There is no way, shape, or form that we are behaving in any way. The sound was created by John's vocal, Paul's voice and bass playing, George Harrison's rhythm guitar, and my drumming. All of these individual contributions were responsible for the sound. Now and Then was the song that propelled the Beatles to the top of the charts, a feat that they accomplished 60 years after they had last occupied the number one spot on the charts. It is now the longest period of time that has elapsed between an artist's first and last number one hit, and the record for this longest span of time is held by Paul McCartney and his band. From Me To You was the first single to reach number one on the Billboard Hot 100 chart. It was released in May of 1963, which is equivalent to 60 years and six months ago. Ringo Starr noted that it was a wonderful day when the band reached that significant marker in their career. Starr recently said, in a different setting, that he had predicted that the Beatles would not be around for very long, and that he was reminiscing about the popularity of the band when he made this statement. It was completely unexpected for each and every one of us that it would continue for a week. According to the findings of an interview that was carried out with the Sunday Times. I am going to open a salon, Paul is going to write, and George is going to buy a garage. All of these things are going to happen. On the other hand, it keeps going on and on until it ultimately reaches its conclusion. I believe that this should also be done at the appropriate time. On the other hand, it is essential to emphasize that this does not prohibit us from engaging in playful interactions with one another.